friends in my last video we have studied the origin of spectral line in that we have studied Rydberg's constant and how to find out the wavelength value the wavelength value is denoted by mu bar which is equal to 1 by lambda which is equal to r that is Rydberg's constant 1 upon nf square minus 1 upon ni square where ni and nf denote the transition of an electron from initial orbit to final orbit and the condition is that ni has to be greater than nf with the help of this equation we can find out the wavelength value for different spectral lengths now we talk about the hydrogen spectra hydrogen spectra five different series are obtained which are the first series is Lyman series for Lyman series nf is 1 ni is greater than 1 so it will be 2 3 4 and onward. So the equation will be will be 1 by lambda is equal to Rydberg's constant 1 upon 1 square minus 1 upon ni square. Ni can take value 2, 3, 4 and onward. For second orbit it will be 1 upon 2 square. And we know the value of Rydberg constant is nothing but 1.09678 into 10 raised to 7 meter inverse. After Lyman series, in hydrogen spectra, another series is Balmer series. For Balmer series, Nf is 2 and Ni will have values more than 2 that is 3, 4, 5 and onward and the equation will become 1 by lambda r 1 upon 4 minus 1 upon ni square third series Lyman, Balmer next is Pasteur in Pasteur series value is 3 and I will be 4, 5, 6 and onward. Equation for the wavelength is equal to 1 upon 9 minus 1 upon ni square. 1 by lambda is equal to r into 1 upon 9 minus 1 upon ni square. Lyman, Balmer, Pastion. Next series is bracket series. For bracket series, Nf is 4 and Ni is greater than 4. And the equation will become 1 by lambda is equal to r 1 upon 16 minus 1 upon ni square for hydrogen spectra first series is Lyman series second is Balmer Pastion next is bracket please go through this equation and the last series is P fund series. For P fund series, for P fund series, NF value is 5. What will be NI value? Ni has to be greater than 5. So it will be 6, 
7 and so on. And the equation will be for the wavelength value it is equal to R into 1 upon 25 minus 1 upon 9 square. Now we will draw the hydrogen spectra. I hope everyone got the point. For the Lyman, NF value is 1, NR is more than 1. For Balmer, NF value is 2, NR is greater than 2. For Pasteur, NF. NF, what is NF? NF is the final orbit of an electron where it will be stable. Okay? So, NF value is 3 and NR is greater than 3. For brackets, NF value is 4 and NR is greater than 4. For P fund, it is 5 and NI is greater than 5. So, with the help of this, we will draw the hydrogen spectra. For this, we will consider different orbits with their energy values. We know what is the relation? E is or E n is equal to E1 upon n square if we are talking about the hydrogen spectra. This we have studied in our previous video, right? Or with the help of this, we will get the energy values for E1 that is the energy value which is related with the first orbit, E2 energy value with respect to second orbit and so on. So first I will draw the horizontal lines. n is 1. When n is 1, what is E1 value? E1 value is minus 13.6 electron volt. n is 2. n is 2 means E1 value is minus 13.6 divided by 4. Minus 13.6 divided by 4. Because my n is 2. So what will be the answer for E2? Minus 3.4 electron volt. <laughs> when n is value is minus 3.4 electron volt. Okay. Now when E3 for E3 it will be minus 13.6 divided by 9 and the answer will be what will be the answer? Minus 13.6 divided by 9. So 9 ones are 9. Remaining is 4. So it is minus 1.51 electron volt. Where N is 3. E3 value is minus 1.51 electron volt. Similarly, find out for when n is 4. n is 
5. N is 6. N is 7. You will use the formula E and S, E1 upon N square or refer the video which shows what is the relation between E and N. Okay? With the help of that video, you can find out the different energy levels for different energy values for different orbits for hydrogen for hydrogen atom. Okay? Now, first one is Lyman series. First one is Lyman in hydrogen spectrum for which nf value is 1 and ni can be 2, 3, 4 and onwards. Means what? The electron may be in the second state but this will be excited state for that an electron. So it is not stable at this orbit and it will come to the stable state. That is n is equal to 1. Same process when the electron is in the state 3, it will come to the n is equal to 1. Same for fourth orbit to the first orbit. This series these spectral lines which are stable at n is equal to 1 are known as Lyman series. This is known as Lyman series. Similarly, after Lyman, Balmer for Balmer, nf value is 2, ni will be 3, 4, 5 onwards. For Pasteur, nf value is 3, ni has to be greater than 3, so it will be 4, 5, 6. For bracket, NF is 4 and NI is 5, 6 onwards. For P fund, NF is 5 and NI is greater than 5. So it will be 6, 7 onward. Okay. So now we will go for the Palmer series. The transition will be from third orbit to second orbit. I will use another marker. The transition of an electron is from third orbit to second orbit. From fourth orbit to second orbit. Fifth to second. Even though it is coming from the 10th orbit, for the Balmer series, the electron has to be stable at n is equal to 2. This is called Balmer series. Next, Pasteur. For Pasteur, NF is 3. So the transition will be from higher orbit than the third but the electron will be stable at n is equal to 3. This series is called Pasteur series. After Pasteur we will see bracket series. The final orbit for the bracket series is 4. The transition will be from higher orbit than the 4. So this line indicates bracket series.
and for the p for nf is the fifth orbit so the transition will be from greater than fifth orbit if i draw n is equal to 8 then the transition will be from 8th orbit to 5th orbit if the transition is up to 5th orbit then that series is denoted by p fund series i hope this video explain the hydrogen spectra very well how to draw the different series with the help of energy level energy values and how to find out energy values that we have studied in our last video so please refer that video to find out the energy values for different orbits thank you